hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm a teacher and author, and this is English Nerd. So I have a slightly different kind of video for you today. Um, the Corto group, um, which creates these really beautiful editions of classics, reached out to me and asked if I would do an honest review of one of their new releases. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I am super excited to explore this book and see what, uh, what they've added to a classic that we see everywhere. There are lots of special editions, so what is it that makes this one special? Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to tell you guys today. For those who are collectors of classics, as you already know, I am. So the book that they sent me was Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Tales by Lewis Carroll. Um, obviously there are other tales in this because look how thick that is. Alice in Wonderland is not that long. So I'm going to take the plastic wrap off. I left it, I left it on because I wanted this to be as, as real as possible. So I'm going to uh, take a closer look right now. All right, so it's all wrapped up nicely. We'll just get rid of that. All right. And there's a uh, sheet that I think comes off here in the back. Does it come off? No, it stays on. <clears throat> okay, so the, the, oh no, no, it does, it does come off. I felt like, oh, there's some artwork behind here. I'll show you in a, in a second. Oh, this is it. Okay, so first impressions are already very good. When this book came in the mail, it weighed a ton. You can tell it's really solid quality. So looking at the front here first, it is a little bit uh, embossed. It's almost impossible to see with the light the way it is right now, but um, you know, there's a little ridge here that you can feel the, the title itself goes down. Um, and just look at that, look at that uh, design. It is really beautifully designed. Um, this is the spine. I love the checkerboard style there. Um, and then the back, look, I told you there was some, some artwork and there is some of the original, um, Alice in Wonderland artwork. What a, what a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, thing there. So on this sheet that I took off, it tells you a little bit about Lewis Carroll and some other titles that are available in this style. Um, the thing that caught my eye was Sherlock Holmes because I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan. And of course they have some Shakespeare in there as well. So let's take a closer look at the quarto, quarto edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Thanks again for sending this to me. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be one of those books that had the end papers that were really pretty like that. That looks like one of those magic eye things that I never understood when I was growing up. Uh, I would stare at him and it just didn't do any good. I can never see anything. Okay, so we have this, very lovely. There's a picture of Lewis Carroll with a, a reproduction of his signature, which is cool. Um, and like I said, it's more than just Alice's Adventures in Wonderland because that is only about yay long. Um, but it also has Through the Looking Glass Sylvie and Bruno. Uh, there are two novels about that, which I had not heard of before. A bunch of poetry. Uh, it looks like it's almost a complete works. I can't think of a single thing that's not in here <laughs> that Lewis Carroll would have written. Um, so we have chronology of all the works. Let's, let's see. Um, I heard that this is formatted really beautifully with some illustrations. So let's kind of cut to the chase a little bit here. All right, so chapter one, down the rabbit hole, we already have some really nice illustrations. It's more of like a brown font instead of a black font, so it makes it seem a little bit more luxurious, a little less harsh on the eyes. So very cool. This is one of my favorite parts when she says goodbye to her feet. <laughs> There's a reason why I like that part, but that's not the purpose of of this, it was just really helpful for AP. All right, so lots of lots of great illustrations here. Ooh, okay. All right, I heard that there was some unusual stuff like this. So look at look at that. That is a very cool um, way of of 
formatting this whole thing. So throughout the entire thing, there's a lot of illustration. I'm going to go past Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and see uh, in the other stories by, by him what we have. So uh, Through the Looking Glass, very similar to what I was showing you with those illustrations every page or so. But let's, let's see. So we finished Through the Looking Glass. Uh, the Sylvie and Bruno stories don't have the same level of, of illustrations, which makes sense. I have not heard of that. Has anybody heard, uh, have you heard of that, Sylvie and Bruno? I guess I'm not like, I haven't been a Lewis Carroll fanatic, and so that's, that's, I've never come across it. Let's see, we have some, some poetry here. Hunting of the Snark. Okay, so it seems like we've pretty much um, gotten past the illustrated portion of this. So let's look at the end. Uh, we have an index of first lines. We even have some of his like math puzzles and things like that. So if you are really a fan, there, there are some things in here that you wouldn't normally find. I certainly have not come across these different riddles and things. Um, selection of symbolic logic. Interesting. Okay, so if you if you like that kind of thing, uh, we have some end notes uh, and a little bit about the biography of Lewis Carroll here at the end. Yeah, and then we get the magic eye at the end. But what a what a gorgeous addition! Um, I'll include the link down below if you want to buy this edition or if you want to check out the other titles that Cordo has put together. This is um, a really nice collectible copy. So thank you so much to those who reached out to me and asked me to do an honest review of this uh, edition. I think it does have some things that other editions of Lewis Carroll's work don't necessarily have, like those, those logic puzzles at the end. I mean, it really is a deep dive into a lot of his work. Um, as a as a person who enjoyed logic and mathematics as well as these kind of surrealist stories so so yeah you can you can check it out decide if this would be something that would add to your collection of classics all right that is all i have for you today like this video if you like it don't forget to subscribe for more english nerdy goodness there is a ton about literature and writing um, on this channel and it comes out every week on Monday. So until then, see ya.